All right, wherever you are, just stand to your feet and join us. Praise the maker. Come on now. Hey. Can you move your body? Hey. Come before you today. There's just one thing that I want to say You say thank you, Lord I just want to thank you, Lord For all you've given to me And all the blessings, everybody Hey, sing thank you
very big Oh, now me too full Oh, so dark What's up and cares No boy here about this law Oh, but I'm part Oh, can my near and then a day now. When you're a full left your voice, everybody. Oh, you're a tomb for she is. What's up on casting? Oh, what's up on casting? Oh, boy, yeah. Yourself right now, bring you out of that pit. And Lucy, 
Lord. Obey it now, one with you, man. But so did it. Hallelujah. Central, central. Yes, you may. Sense in working tonight. Obey it now, one with you, man. Oh, feel on my heart. Central. Yes, you may. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, if you are here and you believe in miracles, just shout a big amen. If you are watching me and you believe that God is alive, shout a big amen. What a joy to come to you again today. We began the year very well and we shall end it well. The last time I came to you, I shared with you the heart of God once again. I reminded you by the word of the Lord that I have a command. I have an obligation, a task given by God. And that task is to ensure that you, you, it is well with you. It is a task that God is determined to accomplish. And I want you to be part of this journey of ensuring that you and your family and your dependents are experiencing the fulfillment of the scripture. So I remind you that we started looking at Isaiah 3 verse 10. And that has been the theme and the series that I'll be dealing with over time. Tell the righteous. Tell the righteous that it will be well with them. For they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. Oh, how I wish I could repeat this verse over and over and over and over and over so that it will not just be a message you're hearing, but you become the embodiment, the fulfillment of this message. That you become a living testimony. That you can look into the eye of your child, look into the eye of your colleagues, look into anyone and tell them that I am a living example of God who is able to turn things around and make me well. So we looked last week at the first part of the message which is tell them. And here we're looking at the communication. And we said that it is like a commander in chief who mobilizes his squad or battalion or brigade and gives them an instruction that has to be enforced. And I communicated to you by the word of the Lord that God has commanded us. And so we reminded you that it is important two things happen. You must believe that God is. You must have faith in God that he can do you well. Number two, which is important, when you have the first one, which is having faith in God, that will establish you. There is a second one according to the scripture. Which is you must also have faith in his prophets. So that you will be successful. So no matter how much faith you have in God. You are bound, duty bound. To also have faith in the vessel he uses. If not, you may only be established. But you may not see success. And that is why quite a number of us as Christians. We are fully established, but we are not being successful because we are despising the vessels God used. Sometimes we look at their weaknesses and their shortcomings and we fail to recognize the oil. Remember, it is the oil, not the personality. It says, have faith in God and in his prophets. He did not mention name, but the ministry, the calling, the office. 
Now once you begin to see that vessel as a vessel of God, God says that he will, through his word, change your life. We also continued by saying that the words that are spoken to you are spirit and they are life. And then we looked at the spirit. Today we would continue with the spirit, go deeper and then end with the life. Tell them. Tell the righteous. Tell the redeemed. Tell those that are born again. Tell those who are children of God. Tell them that it will be well with them. Now I explained that the words that have been spoken as tell them it's not just sentences but they are spirits they are intelligent beings they, they are able to see and to know they are able to make choices and decisions so when the message comes to you it is important that you are open to the message and when you are open to the message then the message itself which is spirit will work on you now listen and listen carefully I hope you would understand what I'm about to say. You see, God has spoken. God has made a declaration. He's given provision for your answers. God does not, and listen to me, does not every day would have to come and listen to your prayer to answer. He doesn't need to do that. When you raise your hands and you say, oh God, hear me, it does not necessarily mean that God will have to come down and listen to you and hear you. And sometimes, <laughs> some of our songs, the theology, in other words, Holy Ghost, come down. Coming from which up, where? He's already with us. He's made provision for our answers. But our capacity to connect with the answer is dependent on the two things I said. Faith. 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 In what is coming to you. So if you hear me right now and you are able to receive that into your spirit, then that word will watch over you. It is spirit and it is life. Now let us progress with the life aspect. You see, God is saying that this message coming to you this word that it will be well with you because you are born again, because you are a child of God. This word that is coming to you here is life. It is living. It is active. It is sharper. It is like a hammer. In other words, when the message comes to you, it will stay watch. It will keep alive. It will never die. It will never quench. Nothing. Not the plans of the enemy. Not the situation of your nation, not the situation of your family, not your background, not where you came from or where you're coming from. That word is alive. It will stay active. And he says that because it's alive, it is sharp. It's able to divide. In other words, if there are situations and there are obstacles, that word, that message that it will be well with me, so let me give you an example. Let's say that you have accepted the word. You have believed that it is well. This year is going to be well. This year is going to be well. And then tomorrow, a situation arises that tries to destroy you, to kill you. Now, because you have accepted that word, when death is coming to take your life so that it will not end well with you, that word will become like a watchman will drive away death will drive away the situations that will want to change the situation because the word is active and that is why in John 6 63 Jesus made it very clear that these things that are coming out of me are spirit and they are life now when something is alive it means that that thing has capacity to breathe it has capacity to reproduce. It has capacity to multiply. Any living being or living entity that loses its capacity for reproduction will not survive. Even if it is microorganism or microbial organisms, they still have to reproduce. 
So what the Lord is saying that when the message comes to you, that message will reproduce. So when today the message of wellness comes and tomorrow something wants to change it, that has capacity to reproduce and reinvent itself and ensure that you have life. Tell them. Communicate to them. Release to them that this message is alive. It won't die. And I pray that you will walk in this wellness. You see, I stared the last time that I'm, I don't have an intention just to preach. It is not about just speaking to you. But it's about ensuring that what God has said comes to pass. It is about ensuring that your life sees the change. And that is why it is important that you understand that this message will not die. This message is alive. Now, when the Bible says that the word is alive, it also means that it is capable of bringing division, distinction, separation. So you can be 10 people, 20 people vying for a particular thing that will bring wellness. Now the word of God is able to separate. Is able to make you distinct. Is able to meet you at a particular point of your need. Is able to ensure that the thing God has said ah, comes to pass. Tell them. Tell the righteous that the message is spirit. The message is life. Now having established this too that the word is spirit so it will never die. It will watch over you. It will move ahead of you. It will take decisions. The word will know when to act and when not to act. When to separate and when not to separate. The word itself will take decisions on your behalf. And I've also explained that it has life. So it carries the potency of life. And I'm happy to announce to you that because it is alive. Because the word of God has potency. It will ensure that you will be sustained your vision will be sustained and that anything that is not life but death whether business whether marriage anything that loses steam that loses fire that loses vibrancy that loses revival awakening the word is able to subdue and suppress it in other words if there's a dream if there's a vision if there's something in your spirit that this word has brought into birth, God will preserve that. And this is the inheritance of the righteous. This is the inheritance of those that are saved, those that are born again. Now, I want you to understand the next mystery. Now, because the word is spirit, once you receive that word, that word gives birth to you. Now, I recall when I started sharing this, some people couldn't understand, and I pray that you understand. The word is spirit. So when you accept the message, like salvation, let me just give an example of salvation, and then I'll connect to this. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, the Bible says you are born again. Now, because you are born again, listen, you are born, you are giving birth to. Who gives that birth? You read John. You take the whole of John from even one to six, but specifically three and six. It will tell you how when you are born again, it is like a wind, it's like a spirit. And he that gives birth to you is spirit and is life. That spirit gives birth to spirit. And Jesus was explaining that flesh will give birth to flesh. Take note. Spirit will give birth to spirit. So for salvation, when God gives birth to you, the product is spirit. Just like a human being gives birth to a human being. A human being gives birth to a human being. And so when you accept Christ and God is giving birth to you, he will give birth to spirit. And so as I stand here, I am a carrier of body and spirit. I am a spirit being. I am not just a human being. I'm a human being by virtue of the birth my mother gave birth to me. 
that makes you a human being but I'm also a God by virtue of the birth my father in heaven has given birth to me so I carry with, with me the spirit so when the spirit from birth connect to the spirit of the word that comes to you listen when the spirit of your birth which makes you a Christian connects with the spirit of the word that is coming to you for instance the word that says that it shall be well with you when the two merge no power no spirit can stand you because the bible says that the testimony of two or three every matter is established so when the spirit of christ and the spirit of the word agrees concerning anything that thing must come to pass and the agreement today is that you it shall be well with you so i'm explaining that by virtue of your birth you are a spirit being you are god you are i'm not saying listen carefully i'm not saying you are like god it is adam who was created like god we are not like god we are god because when i give birth to a human being just take it for instance if i say i've given birth to someone like a human being that would be like an insult he looks like a human being i've given birth and you are calling my child yes, your child looks like a human being but adam was created so when adam was created he looked like god but as for you and i who are the righteous we are born by the spirit and he that is born by the spirit is spirit and so we don't look like god we are god we are we don't look like human being we are human beings in the same way you don't look like god you are god you carry divinity you carry spirituality and because i carry god in me it will be well with me there's no way god cannot experience wellness now when your mindset catches what i'm saying when your spirit catches what i'm saying and you begin to live not in only your humanity but you begin to live in your divinity in your spirituality then that scripture is fulfilled that it will be well because i cannot just imagine god not being well so even when your flesh is not well when your humanity is not well and you zoom into your spirituality God says it shall be well and that is why you need to catch what I said initially that the words are spirit and their life and when your spirituality connects with your spirituality two or three testimonies and that matter must be established how I pray you would understand what I'm sharing with you tell them tell the righteous tell the redeemed that they are born again they are spirit beings they carry in them divinity they carry in them god they are god they are god they are god and so whatever is humanity with its weaknesses may your spirituality overpower and subdue it and if there's anything that is not spirit filled that is not going to lead you in the path of spirituality so that you enjoy the spirituality of god let this message bring a division a separation remove your humanity and the weaknesses thereof and cause your spirituality to begin to manifest tell the righteous tell the righteous tell those that are born again tell the children of the lord that it will be well with them and i've ended i'm ending today's message by reminding you that the word itself is spirit the message i'm communicating to you is spirit a spirit coming to a spirit being a spirit entity and when you are able to believe what i'm saying that yeah i'm not man only but i'm also god then your divinity will begin to cause the wellness to affect your spirit your physical being and then you begin to enjoy the fruit of your deeds tell the righteous tell those that are born again tell those that are spirit beings Tell those that are not just humans.
but are gods that ask for them it shall be well with you now we're going into much details of the righteous the next time we meet so that you understand how to enjoy the full fruits of your spirituality until you catch this message until you get the connection between your spirituality you may not enjoy the fullness and that is why having faith in God will establish you but believing in what we are saying will bring you success as I bring this message to a close I want somebody who is only experiencing humanity from today may you begin to walk your divinity may you begin to walk in the spirit may you begin to walk in the fullness of the blessings now remember that God says and the Bible says the word of God says the invisible is more powerful than the visible the unseen is more powerful than the seen and so when your faith when your conviction when your spirituality takes over your humanity then it shall be well with you. And I pray that it is well with you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord hear you and give you an ear that can hear these things. It may sound difficult to consume, but may God open your understanding. And may you not walk like a man only, but may you begin to walk godly. May you begin to show yourself not like God, but show yourself as God, children of God. And as this message comes to you, I can tell you that it's already well. Now if it is well, then let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be set free. Let the barren be removed from that status of barrenness. Let those who cannot see begin to see. Let those who are crippled begin to walk. Let those who are lame begin to experience wellness. Let those who have lost hope, let those who have lost direction begin to receive direction. Let those who have been crying as if there is no God, who have been crying as if there is no Savior, those who have been established for so long but yet not seen fruitfulness or success, let this message change the narrative. Let there be a change of the narrative. Let there be a change. Now I want you to rise right now. Wherever you are, if you can. I want you to rise and I want to pray with you. You're going to pray. That the word is spirit. And only spirits can understand spirits. I have explained the two. I need you to understand this seriously. That this message is spirit. And you too, you are spirit. And once you appreciate the spirituality of the word and your spirituality, then now you begin to have capacity to see the things of the spirit. Know the things of the spirit. Enjoy the things of the spirit. Walk in the things of the spirit. And then the spirit begins to take over your humanity. May God do it for you right now. May God do it for you right now. And where your humanity cannot make it. Where your flesh cannot take it anymore. Where you have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And, tried and, tried. and it's not working. May your spirituality take over. May your spirituality take over. When your humanity has tried. Doctors have tried. Wisdom have tried. Your contacts have tried. And it's not working. May the spirit take over. And may your life be influenced by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Shut up,
it is well with them tell the righteous that because they are righteous they are spirit beings they will now begin to enjoy the things of the spirit tell them that because they are spirit beings they can understand the language of the spirit they can understand and appreciate and enjoy the benefits of the spiritual realms because only the spirit knows the issues of the spirit come holy spirit let your fire fall strongly within our spirits let your fire begin to work in us now i want you to begin to pray that oh God anything in me anything in my life that is unable to connect to my spirituality that is unable to connect me to the world of the Holy Ghost anything that is preventing me from seeing the hand and the might and the power of the spiritual now your word says that this word is spirit and I myself I am spirit so we are connected let us begin to enjoy the things of the spirit Raise your voice and begin to pray. Basonte bali kabrodos tate breyanda ya. Mikato zibate kabili balunda bili basonda ya. Change, change, change is coming your way. 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 Kabala basi kabrada shanda baradosi kabala. Let there be a change. 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 Kabazuta bara 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 bara. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The Bible says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. I've spent these two sessions to let you know that the message of tell them is spirit and it's life. I've also communicated to you that you, the receiver of that message, you are spirit. You're not just a human being, you are spirit. And as I bring this session to an end, I release your capacity to catch the things of the spirit. So that from today, your life will not, be only, will not only be influenced by the standards of the world, by the economy of the world, by the health of the world, by the prosperity of the world. But something inside you will break through the barriers of the world. And let your spirituality catch the realms of the spirit. 
so that what man cannot do what human strength cannot do something bigger mightier in the inside born by the spirit in you will begin to reach where human strength cannot reach i lift you up today i cause things to begin to happen which are not human which man cannot understand which you cannot comprehend may you begin to enjoy your spirituality and the reality of the spirit world because the message is spirit and the receiver is spirit enjoy the things of the spirit Mazonde bakashto labreda seta Kabado seke paleka Kaleko shadiza manta baleka Father for those of us who have walked like men for all these years Let us begin to walk as gods Let us begin to walk as spirit beings Let us be able to connect with the spirit world and the spirit world let us know the things of the spirit understand the things of the spirit bring back the life of the spirit oh god bring back the life of the spirit lord a man for so many years but this year may you begin to walk like God may you begin to walk in the spirit may your spirituality take over your humanity where the doctors have hit the rock let the spiritual take over where human flesh have hit the rock let your spirituality take over where your strength has hit the rock let your spirituality take over where human wisdom and human capacity have reached their limitation let divinity take over and this year i cut apart your well-being to be influenced from the world of the holy ghost it shall happen it is happening let the dead come back to life right now let the dead come back to life let the dead come back to life let the dead hear my voice and come back to life let miracles be released right now miracles from the holy ghost the miracles of the spirit world and for those of you that have not yet experienced miracles i'm saying that there is a world of the holy ghost the world of the spirits but the message is spirit and it's life kada shota patesta breda sontayana now if you are watching me and you are blind begin to see right now if you are watching me and you cannot walk begin to walk you have suffered stroke begin to rise and walk you are paralyzed begin to rise and walk something spiritual is entering you your spirituality is connecting with the spirituality of the world and the weaknesses of the flesh is giving way for the spirituality of the holy ghost to take over if you are watching me right now in the name of jesus and there are hindrances to your marriage there are hindrances to your well-being the spirit of christ is taking over your life and turning situations around because there is a measure of the spirit of the word and your spirituality 
the Holy Ghost is separating you from failure from backwardness it has not been well with you things have not been flowing but there's a new season there's a new movement there is a new moment in your life that is taking place right now where your spirituality is being lifted to connect with the spirit that has been released if your spiritual antennas were cut off I'm connecting you right now get ready to receive your miracle get ready to receive that message get ready to receive that thing which is from the Holy Ghost let the power of God hit you right now wherever you are I release miracles I release signs I release wonders I release the Holy Ghost taking over now you want to lift your hands and they begin to bless the Lord thank God for your miracle thank God for your healing thank God for your eyes that are seen your ears that are hearing thank God for your tongue that has been losing thank God for paralysis that is gone thank God that your womb has been opened thank God for the miracles that are signs thank God for the testimonies that are coming out now right now you will become a living testimony thank you Jesus thank you Jesus there's a wind coming that upon you right now. There's a spirit coming upon your life. Wherever you are watching, wherever you are listening, there's a spirit coming upon your life. Who bring upon you now? Who bring upon your life? Who bring upon your life? Promise keeper. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father. Thank you for the spirits that have been released in the word. Thank you that the word will not come back until it has met with spirits. And once there is this witness between the spirit of the word and the spirit of our salvation, it is done. Whatever two or three shall agree, the word as a spirit agrees with our salvation as spirits. It is done. Answers, solutions, doors have been opened. We are in for beautiful moments, even in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. As we end this session, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I want to give you an opportunity right now to give your life to Jesus if you give your life to Jesus you will not just be a human being anymore but you will be referred to as a righteous you will be born again and once you are born again you will begin to walk in the spirit enjoy the fullness of the spirit there will be things happening you cannot explain because there is going to be a mighty hand behind you and ahead of you and so if you have not given your life to Jesus, I want you to do that right now. Do it right now. Just say this after me. Dear Lord, I know you love me. And so today, I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died for my sins. And I believe that you are alive today for my salvation. Be Lord and be my Savior. Jesus, even in your name. Amen. Oh.